Oh wow. That brings back memories. That brand. Might as well use this one. Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today. I just went to get a pack of this. Am I going to really string a tennis racket with spaghetti? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So uh, coffee sponsor of the day is, oh, it's my man, Jeffrey L. Valiant. He's actually a customer of ours here. Um, and he writes, the dictionary definition of customer service has a picture of Harry. Thanks for the string advice on Saturday. Oh, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate you. Um, I guess I helped him out a couple Saturdays ago, and uh, he appreciates it. Jeff, I appreciate you. Uh, one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Fortunately and unfortunately, he's a Cubs fan. I'm happy that he finally got his World Series after like 100 years. So, and it might take another 100 years for them to win another one. <laughs> All right. If you want to be my coffee sponsor, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you, everyone, for keeping it going. I appreciate you. Okay. So, I walked into the supermarket a little bit ago, and I picked up some spaghetti. I, here's the thing. I'm not sure. Oh, I know why. I, I walk into the Costco and I buy the big pack. And, and I, when I saw golden grain, I was like, oh, crap. That's like blast from the past. Like I bought golden grain. I grew up with golden grain, uh, 70s, 80s, 90s. I mean, it's the brand I knew until all these kind of foo-foo brands came about. This was like the staple in everything. Um, mom got it in, you know, macaroni and, you know, all the pastas, lasagna. I mean, everything was golden grain. Um, now it's like the Italian invasion of pasta at your supermarket. So I'm glad that I could support golden grain and see them again. Um, I like it, it like brought back so much nostalgia for me. Now, am I really going to string a string spaghetti on a tennis racket? No, I'm not, guys, because it'll shatter on the first uh, first hit. But my buddy Dan, you know, Dan, mad scientist Dan, he's like, I think I'm going to string my rackets with um, the spaghetti method. So if you guys don't know what the spaghetti method of stringing is, it's basically um, not weaving the strings and not stringing the whole racket all the way through. So as some examples of what he actually did. So here, he actually doubled up on the mains. As you can see, there's two mains here on each one. And he only strung one, two, three, four, five crosses. So what he's doing is he's holding the middle string in like like the cross string in and not weaving it. So it's basically being held by the two strings on each side, as you can see there. What does that do? Well, it allows for the mains to move freely. It allows for the cross to move freely, therefore imparting a ton of spin on the ball. See how easy it is to do that? See how easy it is to do that, all right? Moving it super easily. So I was like, Dan, all yours, baby. So, but he, he took it another step and used like grommets tubing to make it slide even more and to hold that cross in place. And I was like, man, you should have asked me. I had tubing for you. Cause this now weighs a lot and he's like okay i'll take the tubing and do it again he basically told me it took him four hours to string this racket because you got to double back on the grommet holes on the main here as you can see 
That's a lot of work. And, and fortunately, he has a lot of time. He's supposed to come back sometime with the one that I gave him the tubing for and show me his uh, final creation. Reminds me of actually again. Be a bamboo stick. My mom used to hit me with the cat. Jesus. Dude, you think I'm like seven foot tall? I'm not Yao Ming, man. All right, so just got off the court. Spaghetti style strings. I don't know. Maybe it needed some meatball. What do you think, Coach Goo? Are you always hungry all the time? Yeah, uh, it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, overall, this um, spaghetti method is really interesting to me. It's a little different. Um, reminds me of a fly swatter, if you guys re can recall that. But, um, yeah, I mean, it actually kind of like held the ball nicely. It kind of pocketed and it shot up fast. Um, but with the plastic, it felt really head heavy. So, therefore, you get a lot more plow. And I really couldn't get a spin off of this. I think it's because due to the plastic, it's a little slippery. So basically what happens is if I make contact, it just flies off the racket. Like, There's no tomorrow. Um, but it's a fun experiment. I can only hit flat with this. And if you want to do this stringing and deal with the pain of that, uh, go ahead and try it. <laughs> Harry, what do you think? So four, four hours is how long it took for uh, Dan to string this up. That is impressive. Because you, as you can see, yeah, like, it's doubled. It's, it's doubled, doubled in yeah. and it's holding in the thing. It's not woven. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's basically, you're supposed to have more spin with it though, because it's I guess I was free flow. The, I, guess, I guess it was like hitting the plastic so much that I could, this plastic felt like it couldn't really latch onto the ball though. Hmm. I, I felt it. I mean, I have mm -hmm. a more extreme um, <clears throat> grip than you do. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, when you started to get a hold of it, I felt like yours was kind of coming over. Yeah, a little more. I think I got used to like learning how to shape it. Like I had to like physically shape it because my grip is a little more extreme compared to Harry's. No, mine's is more extreme. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> mine's is I'm more trying extreme. Nice. I'm trying to be mine's nice. Mine's is more extreme. You're, you're, nice. you're, you, you continental almost. Okay, calm down, dude. <laughs> so... So I was actually trying to swing through and actually hit the fence, but it kept diving in. So that's the yeah. one thing that, you know, that free flowing string, look at all these are moving that are doing for the, to the ball actually, that is just basically absorbing in and then mm -hmm. snapping. Look at how much snap this thing is going to give you. So um, power spin, mostly spin well, is mm, what it's going to yeah. give you. The power was there though too. Yeah, well, it's really, it's really loose, and there's nothing holding it together. Yeah, but yeah, totally, totally fun uh, it's experiment. Fun to try out. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to string it. I know um, you would probably kill, would yeah. probably like, honestly murder something. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I want to thank my man Dan for hooking it up and doing the string thank job. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Yeah, as always. Um, want to thank my man Goo for being here and testing it out with me. Where can we find you, Goo? Find me at ag.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Man, it's windy today. Am I at the right club? Where is this wind coming from? I should have restrung my racket.
My eyes are so itchy. My socks don't quite. How feel am I gonna right. deal with this wind? Man, it's windy today. I gotta make sure I tie these. Are stringing those Man, today. Why is it so freaking water water windy today? Tight. Where is that water bottle? Did I, lock Did I remember my? Where is my phone coming from? Where is my phone? Was I supposed to get my kid from school? Yeah, I think I lost my water. Do I don't I need a water battery bottle. Life on my did I bring the right ball? I think I need minute. a massage. Man, did I have enough coffee Maybe today? Where is this? How am I going to deal do with I this wind? Screen today? Let's open the APEAK app and find my Zen. As you prepare for your match, let's talk briefly about consistency. Time to play. <laughs> 